Hi guys, today's video is titled Love Yourself. It sounds a bit uh, selfish, a bit self-orientated, but it's actually not. What it is, is actually turning around and recognizing yourself for being worth something. It's actually appreciate who you are, but it's also investing in yourself, you know, get yourself new clothes, pedicure, whatever you need. You know, at the end of the day, is learning to look after yourself. Because a lot of the time, especially if you've got kids, you sacrifice yourself to accommodate your kids. Or like myself, I work a lot and I find that I sacrifice my health for my wealth. But at the end of the day, you've got to learn to love yourself and say, you know what, enough is enough. You need to invest a bit of time in your health, some of it in your wealth, but mainly in your well-being, your personal space, your personal um, choices, you know, make time to go out, make time to do stuff for yourself, make time that is your little bit of time of the day. Um, I remember when I used to drive to work, one of the things I used to do is just on the way to work is a boring, tedious journey sometimes. You get stuck in traffic, etc. But I used to sit there and appreciate the beauty around me. You know, instead of getting frustrated, I'd sit there and think, you know, the sun's out, the flowers are starting to uh, blossom or whatever, and appreciate the things around you. And that's important. You know, it's important to realize that you are important. It's important to love yourself, appreciate yourself, and actually turn around and say when you're getting some crap, should we just call it crap off other people, that it's not acceptable. I've had it before where I've had a social worker yelling at me why her um, clients should jump the list on getting maintenance done. And I've just turned around and says, just back off. Firstly, I don't need to take this rubbish from you, but if you think you're going to bully me, into jump, letting you jump the queue. It isn't happening, but I'm not going to stoop to your level and drop you to the bottom of the list. What I will do, though, is actually file a complaint about the way you are acting in the office environment. The thing with that is, you don't have to put up with it. At the end of the day, somebody is giving you negativity because their life is difficult or they think that they can push you to get what they want. And the answer is, no, you can't. And I remember that moment because it was inside an open office. And when she stormed back out, because I basically just told her where to go, other people said, oh, people, nobody stands up to her like that. Nobody tells her this, the answer is no. And it's like, that's why she does it. But at the same time, she's not ruining my day. I may ruin hers because she's now all sad faced because she didn't get what she wanted. But one thing is, you love yourself, appreciate yourself, and value yourself. And you guys, start doing more of it. And at the end of the day, sit there, you know, get yourself a bit of pen and paper. And also, just notice where you're giving in a lot. You know, for example, are your shoes looking tired when you should actually invest in it? But other people go, oh, I need this, I need that. You know what? Value yourself, invest in yourself. You know, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with loving yourself. You're always giving it. So it's about time you actually appreciate it and love yourself and value yourself. And also remove or reduce the amount of negativity that people are pushing on you when you don't have to accept it. And a lot of it is not like having a breakdown or you know freaking out. It's simply turn around and say, no, this is unacceptable. You can't talk to me like this. And a lot of people will be taken back and go, I'm sorry, you know, they, you know, they may not even do it, notice it because they're used to talking to people that way or acting that way. Um, so, love yourself. Thanks for watching.